Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The wait is finally nearing its end. The energy that you can sense in that stadium makes it feel as if the whole thing is about to spontaneously combust. A grueling season now comes down to 60 minutes. National championship on the line in the BCS title game. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. See how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. The kick is away and the national championship is underway. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Down the sideline. And they finally tackle him at the 47. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. And down he goes at the 44. He's got it with room to run. And he's tackled around the 10-yard line. What a pretty pass play. This is just a simple play-action pass. The defense here bit on the fake just enough, allowing the quarterback to find an open target, and the result is a big game. Finds a man. Touchdown. This is a great number for any quarterback. 40 touchdown passes. Oh, he's been unbelievable. This young player has had a career year, and he'll be remembered for a long, long time. And he adds the extra point. So a short three-play, 47-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 7-0. Georgia State to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Georgia State up seven points. At the 32. Nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Right 
He's taken down right around the 50. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the runs and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action fast, well, I feel really good about it's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. with the play fake, and they got it. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From their own 47-yard line, it's third down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Quick throw, excellent open field tackle. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Steps up. He's looking for six. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. From the 32-yard line, second down. On the ground, right side. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. That makes it 37. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Georgia State he is up seven. Tackle made at the 12-yard line. and he dropped it. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Brought down around the three-yard line. And the goal line defense digging in here. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Panther. And he hits the PAT. It was a 12-play, 81-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Marshall was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 12. Five wide. And they make the stop at around the 44-yard line. 
Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. The secondary decided to drop back into coverage here, and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to. Good job by the D. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Almost picked off. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. What a play by the defense. There is no doubt that their mind is on that. Champion. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. And they push him out around the 39-yard line. Georgia State is up a score. About the 47 yard line. He gets out to about the 48 yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Quick throw, almost intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. This is kind of a surprising call right here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. He scrambles. And down he goes at midfield. Now the defense knew exactly what was coming, and they still got out muscle. They'll have to stay out on the field for another set of downs. From the 50, first down. And he's level at the 34-yard line. Around the 18-yard line. Gets out to around the nine. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Georgia State is up by a touchdown. Run right and hit the backfield. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. That's a great tackle at the six-yard line. to go up two touchdowns. And he's tackled right away. They get only a yard from the pass play. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Throw in the end zone, touchdown. He makes the PAT. A 12 play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So our score. 21-7. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line.
The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Play across the middle. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. You know, the play-action pass that time delivers a huge play. I think the defense was out of position. There was a one-on-one -on -one opportunity on the outside, and they took advantage of it. From the 25-yard line, first down. He gives a pump fake. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. textbook coverage by the defense that's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play but it doesn't always happen they're at the eight second down empty backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers let it go and it's caught for the touchdown Touchdown grab number two in the game. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game. It usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. And he tacks on the extra point. Only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime. I would expect they'll just quick kick this one. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Reese David, thanks guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 23. We're about set to start things up again. Under pressure. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Go, go. And he's hit immediately. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Goes over the middle, intercepted. And he is drilled at the 44-yard line. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores. But if you're the off... 
quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 40. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. He's knocked out of bounds around the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. And a quick throw, and he tackles him hard at the 30. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. Steps up in the pocket, and they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He's hit and taken down. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Tries to fit it in there, but it's picked off. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Not the greatest pass, but a really, really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback. And he's immediately tackled. Chucks it downfield. This one's intercepted. It's the sophomore safety. Well, that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. He pumps once. On the throw, incomplete pass. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From the 29-yard line, second down. Play action. Fired quickly, and he's got his man. What a play, and that is first and goal. in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. And he's going to be sacked. The defenders played the snap count 
perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the 20. He steps up. Tackle made at the 11-yard line. About nine yards there for the quarterback. That makes it dirty goal. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They'll spread the field with five wide. Touchdown, Georgia State. And he adds the extra point. A nice seven-play, 40-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Wright gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Panthers have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The deep. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gray gains around six yards on the option play right there. They're about four yards away here on second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Pass is tipped away. Well, anytime you put it up in the air like that with all the air underneath it, you're giving the defender a better opportunity to make a play on the ball. They come out in a five-wide set. And that sets them up with a first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Ingram gains four yards on that reception. And the coverage is picked off. Nice interception. Too bad they weren't playing like this to start the day. Yeah, their defense took a little too long to get into this football game. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home. And Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. Steps up. That was a strange decision. I have absolutely no clue why they're trying a pass play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Hey, Brad, I really don't understand what the offense is doing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they have the lead, and we're late in the game, and they're still throwing the football. And I understand sometimes you want to try to rub it into your opponent's face, but here they're stopping the clock and giving the other team a chance to get the ball back. Steps up in the pocket. Going deep. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room.
Collins is back deep to return. He really got a hold of that one. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 35. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Under a minute left in the game. And he came down with it. What a catch. Gray's play just proving that he can drive a defense absolutely crazy. And think about this defense. I mean, all week long, they knew that they had to stop this quarterback and get pressure on him. And when the game is on the line, the most important play of the game they can't deliver it, and of course, this quarterback, when given time, is going to make you pay for it. And he converts the extra point. Georgia State to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because... It's set up there off. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. So much of the passing game is about timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. And they push him out right around the 48-yard line. the first down catch and he's tackled around the 31 yard line georgia state's going to use their first time out of the half here they'll line up with five wide receivers big play there and now they're looking at first and goal That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, Georgia State 42, Rutgers 10. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. I'm still stunned by the score of this game. I really felt these were the two best teams in the country. I didn't expect it to be such a one-sided affair, but let's give credit where credit is due, because it was a very determined team we saw out here tonight, and they deserve to be number one in the country. And for Doherty, he'll walk out of here with the Player of the Game Award. For Rutgers, a heartbreaking loss ends their quest for a perfect season.